Wednesday, which means it's time to recognize our Green and Phillips Player of the Week. This week's recipient certainly balled at the beach last Friday night. I went out to Gulf, Gulf Shores to present this week's award with the help of Stephen Collins. This senior running back returned a kickoff 90 yards for a touchdown, returned a punt 61 yards for a touchdown, and scored on a 50-yard return of a free kick, all in the first half, to help lead the Dolphins rally past BC Rain. That's why Stephen Collins is here to present our Green and Phillips Player of the Week to Ronnie Royal. Yeah. Definitely a team of war. I look at it as a team of work because obviously I can't do this by myself. You know, I, I got to have my guys with me. If I have my guys, then, you know, it wouldn't be no Ronnie Royal. Sort of really uh, uh, sprung our team. We got had gotten down and uh, put us back into the game with some big plays. And, uh, you know, he's been doing that all year. And so he's an exceptional player, but even better kid. A couple weeks ago, uh, we get through with the Friday night game, probably 1030. You're out of the locker room by 11. He's handing out food the next morning at 6 a.m. at the church food pantry. So that's the type of kid he is. No matter what they say you can't do, you always do it. You know what I'm saying? Just push your head. Just push your head down and keep going straight, you know, never get the big head, never, you know, think you're better than somebody else because somebody else maybe could pass you one day. So just keep grounding. This is one of our biggest missions is to support our local community. So Green and Phillips feels very passionate about supporting the local athletes. Uh, we love doing high school player of the week, whether that's with football or any other sport. Uh, I know that we have one more week. Uh, we're proud to support Ronnie. We're proud to support the Gulf Shores Dolphins. Look forward to see who we have next week and then continue on with the other athletes as we go through other seasons. Congratulations to Ronnie and the Dolphins. They are the number one team in 5A in the state and the number one seed going into playoffs this Friday night. We wish them the best of luck as they host Beauregard. Be sure to tune in next week for your final player of the week for the season. Reporting live in studio, I'm Emily Cochran, Fox 10 Sports.